Uh, welcome to a new sunny day and camera comparison between the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II and the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. Both battle in terms of photos and videos, so let's get started! In terms of camera sensors, both feature a triple lens setup but the Mark III has a periscope zoom here, as you can see, and this periscope zoom allows you to switch between two different photo lengths, so it can switch between 70 and 105 uh, millimeters, and it has a 12 megapixel camera, as well as the other ones are also 12 megapixel, but they are updated. So it is the larger sensor is the 1 over 1.7 inch sized sensor, which is updated to be a bit quicker in readout speeds than the old one on the One Mark II. And we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle that has also been updated, also a Sony sensor for better readout speeds. And of course the periscope zoom sensor here for the periscope zoom, also 12 megapixel, also updated, also Sony for faster readout speeds. And you can see the specs that I will put on the screen. And then of course we have the One Mark II that has a bit of also triple lens setup, also one over 1.7 inch size sensor. Last generation sensor with um, also still very fast readout speeds, but not as fast as on the One Mark III. The ultra wide angle, also 12 megapixel, also autofocus as on the One Mark III, but also slower readout speeds. The same goes for the telezoom, which is I think a Samsung sensor here not a Sony sensor, slower readout speeds, but also 12 megapixels. On the front, on the One Mark II, we have an 8 megapixel shooter, which uh, is not the best. I think also Samsung sensor here, and it performs adequately, but not really the best. We can see some uh, sample shots of this one and the One Mark III's one in a video test that I did just a few minutes ago where you can see how they perform in terms of video. And after this we will take a look at the back cameras and do a little comparison between the One Mark II and the One Mark III. So let's start. Uh, this is a front-facing video test on the Xperia One Mark III and I have my One Mark II here in my hands to talk a little bit about the limitations of the front-facing video camera or camera in general, because it's still, I think, the same uh, sensor inside of the front-facing camera. The only thing they did was updating the sensor for photos, so have HDR and some sharpening effects here and there, so it looks a bit nicer than on the One Mark II, but you can almost get the same effect on the One Mark II if you install the Photo Pro app and turn HDR on. It's not this on the same level, because they probably did some hardware tweaks in firmware as well, but still it is not the best and you can see it here in front facing video only 1080p 30 frames per second for an over 1000 euro expensive phone ah, that is bad and it doesn't even have autofocus so if i put this here exposure changes but you can see it is like not really sharp so there's not any autofocus on the front facing camera which is i think equally bad and now the front-facing video test with the One Mark II, without the three, the three I have in my hand here. As you can see here, autofocus is not working at all because there is no autofocus. And uh, what else can I tell you? Both of those tests are performed with a headset that I have here. This is, by the way, the Tin T2 headset. Uh, with a custom-made uh, MMCX cable uh, that has a microphone inside. So I think the microphone quality might be a bit worse, but you can use it also for vlogging if you want to. You can use your normal headset with a microphone for vlogging. Uh, I have good conditions here right now. Sun is shining and I don't have any problems uh, in terms of wind noise. And I think the wind filter can do a little bit on the One Mark II and the One Mark III, but of course it would be better if you have a proper microphone. Uh, what do you think about the front-facing video cameras? This is also 1080p, 30 frames per second. I think they are nearly in video mode. You can see it uh, even more obviously uh, identical basically in quality. So, recording with the Xperia One Mark II and the One Mark III. And which of those has the better stabilization? 1080p, 30 frames per second, which has the better colors and which has the better HDR? 
write it down in the comment section and uh, yeah I'm pretty curious if you can see any difference between those two devices one generation apart and uh, using the same sensor so the only difference is the software but both of them are running Sony's Photo Pro app so which one of those has the advantage here now you can see the shot with the ultra wide angle of the Xperia 1 Mark II and the 1 Mark III which one of those is better in terms of stabilization colors and HDR just yeah see for yourself I'm moving a little bit around I'm moving them a bit closer together which one has a wider field of view uh, the Xperia 1 Mark II or the Xperia 1 Mark III uh, can you even see the 1 Mark II maybe if I hold it like this there is the 1 Mark II and the other way around here's the 1 Mark III probably you can see them as well so a nice little test uh, which one is better let's talk about photography so what we immediately see and it doesn't matter if we use the photo pro app on both devices or the photo pro app on the one mark three and the default sony camera application on the one mark two a difference in hdr so the hdr effect is much more sophisticated on the one mark three than on the one mark two most of the times you don't notice the difference when taking the photo because they're it's very subtle but if you have them side by side you can see clearly that the one mark three has a bit of better hdr what we also see clearly is a difference in white balance most of the time so most of the time if you take a look carefully you will see that on certain pictures the one mark two has a bit of a cooler tone and in certain scenarios even a bit darker and a bit warmer tone and more consistent tone also on the one mark three so consistent by consistent i mean if you go from the ultra wide to the main and to the zoom camera it has the same white balance which is a bit different on the one mark two what we can also see the vibrance in colors the more lively colors are on the one mark three so no matter if you take the zoom lens if you take the main lens or if you take the ultra wide lens it is a bit more lively and more vibrant in terms of colors so what we can see is clearly a bit of more contrast on the one mark three and with the main camera also more details so i don't know if the lens is sharper or the processing has changed but it is in general a bit more detailed on the one mark three than on the one mark two and you can see it very very clearly in the photos and the examples here and of course you can see the same sharpness difference with the zoom with the telephoto lens so even at 2.9 times or roughly three times zoom if you compare both the dedicated zoom camera on the one mark two and the periscope zoom camera on the one mark three there's a sharpness difference the one mark three beats the one mark two almost in every scenario and with the reachability of the one mark three to go even to 105 times millimeters 105 millimeters so uh, to 4.4 times zoom you get even more in terms of sharpness and reachability yes in comparison to the 2.9 times zoom it is less sharp but it's still way better than when everything that the one mark ii can produce in terms of a digital cropping or zooming so this is very important to see here so sony did make a very good improvement on all camera lenses even the ultra wide has i think a bit more better white balance to me it's very good on both the one mark ii and the one mark three but the white balance is i think a bit better and the contrasty look is a bit better on the one mark three all in all you can write me down in the comment section what do you think who has the better details who has the better photos who produces the better photos i think the one mark ii is no slouch when it comes to producing photos but the clear winner here if you compare the one mark three against the one mark ii and it's not only processing it is really sharpness and hdr in every photos in some photos i was shocked when zooming in how bad the quality of the one mark ii was also with the main lens or the main sensor that yeah apparently did not change so much but i think sony was working on it especially in lower light situations and maybe also the algorithms are better but even if i take the 
Pro Photo Pro app from the One Mark 3 and put it on the One Mark 2, the photos of the main lens don't come better, don't become better or sharper or uh, less grainy, less noisy. So it is, I think, a sensor upgrade that Sony did also for the main lens on or the main sensor on the One Mark 3. And I was shocked uh, sometimes how bad it was looking on the One Mark II in terms of details that was just lacking there. And the One Mark III is in certain scenarios ways better than the One Mark II when it comes to this. When it comes to HDR, clearly the winner is the One Mark III. There's no talk about this. Uh, most of the time it works nice. There are occasions where I prefer the One Mark II image a little bit better and also sometimes it hits the focus point a bit better, but most of the time the sharpness on the One Mark III nails it and on the One Mark II we are lacking the sharpness. Let's talk shortly, very briefly, about the low light and ultra low light performance, so where the night mode kicks in. Basically, both phones provide you the same capabilities in terms of night mode. When I took shots with both of them, where the night mode kicked in on occasions with the same lighting, just a split second apart from each other, everything, really everything, looks the same as if I have took a second photo with the same device. So it is nearly indistinguishable and yeah, I, you can tell me if you see something here in those photos, in those example shots that is standing out. For me, they look identical. There's no difference at all between the One Mark III and the One Mark II in terms of low light performance. When it comes to action shots, the Xperia One Mark II already had a very good track record with the main camera sensor blazing fast 20 frames per second and autofocus. And the Mark III, of course, keeps this high track record of 20 frames per second now with added exposure, so you have better low light performance and better yeah, exposure in general in the picture when doing the high burst shot, but also upgraded sensors that allow you to do high bursts with better autofocus also on the telephoto lens, which is pretty exciting. So here are some shots. Uh, the one shot with the One Mark II as a main camera, which is pretty awesome already. The One Mark III can do this as well, of course, but what really impressed me was the One Mark III's uh, telephoto that can also be very quick and I got this little fly that just a split second was sitting on this little leaf without any issues with the telephoto for uh, 2.9 times zoom, which uh, if you compare it to the Xperia One Mark II, the telephoto was a bit slower, so I have this little grasshopper that I tried to shot, sh uh, shoot here didn't work out so good. So these are my opinion about those two phones and the photos that I took and my conclusion about it. If you have something to say, if you have both phones, you have different camera samples or something, you can write it down in the comment section. And uh, in general, it, I have the feeling a little bit that on the One Mark III, I think they are also doing artificial um, sharpness a little bit. So they have the algorithms to artificially sharp a little bit more than on the One Mark II. But uh, it could be also that the lens is sharper or the sensor and the whole processing is a bit better. But what do you think? You can write it down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, um, I would like to hear what you think about those two. So which phone is the winner? Which camera of the phone is the winner? The Xperia One Mark II or the Xperia One Mark III? All in all, I have to say the Mark III is a step up of the Mark II. It is a marginal step up. In terms of main camera, I was surprised how sharper the One Mark III is in comparison to the One Mark II. And in telephoto, of course, it's a huge improvement over the Mark II. More details, better HDR, faster sensor readout, faster burst shots, more things in focus. So this is a clear win for the Mark III. Even though I would have seen a little bit more improvements on the Mark III, 
like night mode photography, at least having a mode that allows you to create this artificially more um, yeah, light cap in feature. Uh, otherwise, in terms of applications, they are yeah, identical. So if you're deciding just because of the camera system and you have a Mark II, just keep the Mark II, wait for the Mark IV and check this on out. Otherwise, if you are deciding between those two, you get the more bang for your buck with the Mark II currently because it is a bit cheaper and the camera department is not so far off from the Mark III. Otherwise, if you want to have the best camera system from Sony on a smartphone currently, get the one Mark III or the five Mark III, which basically has the same sensor, just missing the uh, 3D ITOF sensor. That's basically everything. I hope you enjoyed this camera comparison. If you want to support independent comparisons, uh, camera reviews and uh, tech reviews in general, please click the subscribe button comment as well so there's some activity going on most subscribers help me to go actively to the companies and ask them for review devices so i don't have to buy them myself because it's a bit of expensive otherwise if you want to support my channel you can also donate via paypal i will have a link down in the description as well as there's i think a patreon page as well that i one time created and i never had a patreon member before so you can also suit yourself uh, to help me there as well if you want to that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.